Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the brand new Ultimate Legends that are in game already, guys. So, as you guys do know, Ultimate Legends Saturday used to be known as Legend Saturday. Obviously, we made the switch not too long ago. It's Ultimate Legends Saturday. Now, the thing with Ultimate Legends, guys, are. They're not 99 overalls yet, but they can be powered up to 99 overalls, so they're practically already there. I mean, they are in-game cards, right? Now, as we get, when we get to the 99 ones, those ones are going to be insane, because they're 99 and then powered up again. They still stay 99. Now, I do have a hope that we are going above 100 stats this year, or above 99 stats. So, I do hope they do end up taking that route at some point, but for the time being, that's not confirmed. We are not sure just yet. But anyways, guys, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you haven't already. Always comment down below. Let me know which one of these Ultimate Legends are your favorite. We have some really, really big names, so I'm definitely excited to go check this out. Definitely a great Ultimate Legend week, to be quite honest with you guys. Hopefully, the prices aren't too expensive, but if they are, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below. And if you guys haven't already, check it out, guys. Super cheap prices. And of course, you can use code Poodle for 5% off extra on the your order. Yeah, that's about it, guys. So let's head on over to sets. Let's go check out the new Ultimate Legends for you guys. So, players, we got Jeremy Shockey. Super cool, especially because I'm a Giants fan. Darrell Revis, also cool because I'm still from New York, you know, another New York legend, regardless of whether I'm a Giants fan or not. And we have LTD Herschel Walker, which we will go check out. Now, this Darrell Revis, it's got it's gonna be cool, right? I mean, Darrell Revis in the game is nice. He had a um, a 50 card early in the year, but it wasn't as crazy. The speed was still a little too low, uh, you know, considering the cards we would end up getting pretty sh uh, shortly after. But nonetheless, this one's gonna be probably able to get to 99 speed. We'll check all that out. Definitely, I hope he has a 96 speed. Hope they didn't give me 95. I haven't seen his stats just yet. I, I like to I like to not look at the reveal at night because I want to be surprised in the morning when I go over this. So it's like a genuine genuine reaction, like you guys are seeing it. I feel like it's more fun that way for myself. Let's go to newest. Let's sort. Okay, so we got Darrell Revis right here. 98 overall Darrell Revis. They only gave him a 95 speed. Damn. So he gets 98 speed, right? 98 speed with Sprinter. That's fine. Powered from Kendra 299. 98 speed's good. It depends on the other stats, though, right? So, 98 speed, 97 excel. 96 agility, 96 jumping. He will have 99 play rec, 99 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, 99 press. This card's great. 5 foot 11, a little bit small, but that's fine. Agility, so we said that above. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Let's see. Uh, 85 catching. Okay, that's a really good catching stat for a cornerback. Great jumping, of course. Great stamina. Change of direction, going to be a 97, guys. That's a really crazy good change of direction. Ball carry vision, juke, that's all low. 86 spec catch is really good. 77 catch and traffic's really good. Uh, 75 tackles, not, not horrible considering. 71 hit power, that's all decent stuff. But 70 blocks is actually really good for a cornerback as well. This Darrell Revis card, all in all, is actually really good. So for his career, he has 29 interceptions, I believe. Is that what it's only 29 interceptions? I feel like he would have had more. Now, is that just with the Jets or is that total? That's what I'm not really sure of right now. I'm kind of curious to see. 29, I mean, I guess that is technically a lot, right? 29 is like, I mean, I mean, Madden, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I guess career time. 496 total tackles, 139 pass deflections. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I guess he wasn't big on interceptions, but then again, he was an amazing cornerback, so they didn't always throw to him that much. I'm not sure. Maybe that was just his Jets career. I'm not entirely sure. But nonetheless, guys, this is a great, great card. I wish they gave, I wish they gave bios on these cards like they used to, like, this isn't really a description, right? Use this item to complete a stat. I, I like when they used to like give a big description on the card. That was always funny. It's from Pittsburgh, uh, College Pittsburgh, March 13th today, and team name Jazz. That's about it for this card, right? Let's get on to the next one. But that Darrell Reeves card looks super cool. I mean, I wish he was one speed higher, but still good. Now, Herschel Walker, excited to check out this card. 96 speed. All right, so he will get 99 speed at running back. That's crazy. I mean, Edger and James, I think, also got that. But it all comes down to these behind the card stats, right? Now, he's going to have 99 speed, 98 excel, 95 agility, 96 carrying. Now, the catching's low, and that's where Edger and James is really good at, actually. He's a great catcher. Change of direction to 95. The trucking, though, could get to 99, depending, but as of now, to 98. Break tackle, 99. So, he's a great power back, but he's also a really good elusive and agile back. Uh, let's see, 91 strength. That's good. 96 awareness. That's good as well. 92 jumping. That's good. Again, don't really care for that. 99 stamina is going to be good, though. Uh, 81 pass block. Okay. Actually, that's not bad. 81 pass blocks like you like you know when you're running like a gun split close but you're running back in a you know pass block protection double running backs he might be able to hold a guy like a like a genuine like an extra left tackle that's actually that could be good that could be pretty good or even if you run a um a gun gun split close scheme you could actually have herschel walker and edger and james edger and james could be your main runner or your main catcher and herschel walker could just be a blocker 
I don't know how well that 81 pass blocks on the field, but if it works, that could be like an extra lineman on the field. You just put, you put him in a block and he'll hold the next guy that comes through. It'd be pretty cool. Stiff arm 95, figured that. Juke move 99, powered up and chemed up. That's really good as well. Good spin. Okay, so he's going to be a super good elusive back and a power back. It really comes down to the abilities he gets. Uh, let's see. One, 1,954 total rushing attempts, 8,225 yards, and 61 touchdowns. Let's do some quick math real quick. That averages out to a little over four yards per carry, like 4.2, probably 4.1. So that's good. If you're above the 4.0, well, you know, 4. Point anything mark, you're a pretty good running back. 61 total touchdowns. I don't know if that's just rushing and receiving or just rushing or, you know, combined. But either way, still good stats nonetheless. Catching traffic and all that stuff's going to be low. Break tackles 99, of course. Uh, that's about it for Herschel Walker. He's going to be expensive, guys. I mean, he's really good. I mean, I don't know if Edger and James is better. Like I said, he might be. He probably is because of that change of direction. But his Herschel Walker is still really, really good. Now we have Jeremy Shockey. I'm excited to check out as a Giants fan. Six foot, I believe, seven. Six foot five. Okay, sorry. Brian Finner and threw me off. 92 speed, though. Mm. Okay, that's pretty low. Pretty low speed. So, powered up and chemed up, guys. You will get to a 95 uh, speed, which is good. But, you know, we had guys like Vernon Davis, who I believe got up to like a 90. 96 speed with Vernon Davis. I don't remember. Vernon Davis got pretty fast. I think 90, I, I, could, I could be entirely wrong, guys. But I'm pretty sure Jeremy Shockey's on the slower side at this point in the game. But, still good. 85 strength. He will get 99 catching powered up. 99 ca catch and traffic powered up. 99 spec catch powered up and chemed up. As well as 99 short running and 99 medium. He will have all 99 stats. This card's going to be hard to stop if you, uh, you know, he has some space or, you know, he's able, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you throw a high point in the end zone, he has, you know, space to catch. And on the way down, it's going to be hard to knock it loose. Going to make some crazy catches. 85 run block. He's also a great run blocker as well, which is important. Um, let's see what else he has. 94 Excel. I mean, 94 Excel isn't horrible. And of course, moving on down, let's see what else we got. We have 94 stamina, 88 carrying. Okay, that carrying is pretty good. He'll probably be able to take hits pretty well. I wonder where his strength will. 85 strength, yeah. Strength and carrying will probably take hits pretty well. 70 plus pass block is decent. 94 truck. Now, Jeremy Shock has always been a great trucker in terms of Madden. 91 change of direction. Again, good for a tight end, especially a Shocky esque build. 95 ball carry vision, 91 stiff arm, 92 juke, 88 spin move. That's a really good after the catch ability there. 76 run block finesse. He has some great run blocking all around. Uh, 98 medium right running. I wonder what is this is deep right running on here. 95 deep right running, guys. This is a great, great. You, if you put, if you put go deep on him, he will essentially have 99 route running all across the board. He's going to be one of the best route runners in Madden at tight end. That's crazy. Uh, 92 break tackle, of course. I mean, like this card, this card's good. I mean, again, if you can look past 92 speed and you're fine with all the other stats, he's going to be good at just about everything else in the game. Like it's pretty unreal, actually. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Those are the new Ultimate Legends. Let's see how these prices are looking. Cool. I want to, I want to kind of get an idea here if any of them came down already. Oh uh, yeah, Darius is already 700. He'll probably get down to like the 500 range pretty fast. I mean, he's amazing, but that 95 speed, people won't. You're gonna overlook it obviously because again, a lot of cornerbacks can get 99 everything with 95 speed. That's not really anything special there, sadly. But his catching is really good. Him and you know him, Dion, those guys. Uh, Night Train Lane gonna be insane combos right there. Do trios, I should say. Uh, Jeremy Shockey, they're all gonna come down. Herschel Walker too. He come, it all comes down to you know how they you know view him versus Edgar and James and his pull rate, of course. Yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. But yeah, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Check out the next video for the day. I'm out. Peace.